Living with diabetes requires daily self-management in order to reduce your risk of long and short-term complications, which can be serious and even life-threatening. In order to reduce your risk of complications, you need to keep an eye on your blood glucose levels, blood pressure and cholesterol, and ensure that they're kept in as close to the normal range as possible. An annual cycle of care is a vital part of your diabetes management because it does give you and your diabetes care team a measure of your diabetic control. While you're the manager of your own diabetes, your GP will usually play role of coordinator and will put together a plan for you to make sure that all the steps that are needed are completed for your annual cycle of care to be complete and for you to reduce your risk of long-term complications. Your HbA1c is your three monthly test that your GP orders, which reflects your general diabetic control. It doesn't of itself tell us of the highs and lows of your blood glucose levels, which is why it really should be done in conjunction with your home monitoring. Living with raised blood glucose levels can affect your eyes and may lead to vision loss. This is why seeing your optometrist or ophthalmologist at least every one to two years is very important. Recent studies tell us that hearing loss is twice as common in people with diabetes. This may not be noticeable by you because it happens very gradually and we think it's due to the damage that diabetes does to the nerves and the blood vessels in the inner ear. So hearing assessment at least every one to two years is vital. Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death among Australians. Having diabetes, you are at greater risk of cardiovascular disease if you're living with raised blood glucose levels over a long period of time. The good news is you can prevent cardiovascular disease by improving your diabetes management and keeping your blood glucose levels, blood pressure and cholesterol under control. Smoking further increases your risk of diabetes-related complications. Quitting is a huge effort, but it is worth it. High blood pressure and cholesterol can also increase your risk of diabetes complications, including heart attack, stroke, kidney and eye disease. Blood pressure should be checked at every doctor's visit, while your cholesterol should be checked every 6 to 12 months at least. Blood vessel and nerve damage to the feet can also happen when you live with raised blood glucose levels over time. This damage can be very gradual and you may not feel it. So looking at your feet every day after you shower, making sure that there's nothing untoward and also having an annual check by a podiatrist is vital for people with diabetes. High blood glucose levels and blood pressure can cause damage to your kidneys. You won't notice this until it's quite advanced. That's why it's important to have your GP do simple, blood and urine tests at least once a year, so if there are any problems, they're picked up and treated early. Because people with diabetes are on many medications, a yearly medication review by your pharmacist is vital so that they can pick up any problems that may be occurring and also pick up on interactions between your medications. Your diabetes can affect your oral health, that is your gums and your teeth. And your oral health can also have an impact on your blood glucose levels. Make sure you see your dentist every six months, even if you have dentures. And let your dentist know that you have diabetes so that they can treat you and guide you accordingly. Diabetes is a complex disease and needs a systematic approach to care. So completing your annual cycle of care is very important in giving you better health outcomes. And remember, most complications are preventable or treatable if picked up early.